Hi, everyone. This is Mike Talks Cars podcast. Today, Toyota lowers inventory targets, a small RAM rumor, and what are market price adjustments? In industry news, Toyota announced that they intend to target lower inventory levels for dealers than they did in pre-pandemic markets. Prior to the microchip shortages, Toyota dealers had target inventories of between 40 and 45 days supply. The new guidelines will move that to a 30-day supply, or a reduction of 25 to 35 percent. The 30-day supply would be an improvement over today's inventory levels. This will lower the chance of customers finding exactly what they're looking for and will encourage factory orders, to some extent, but will also provide dealers with higher margins than were normal prior to the era of inventory shortages. For consumers, this will mean higher average prices paid for vehicles purchased from inventory. In new vehicle news, the rumor mill has cranked out another interesting suggestion that Ram is planning on taking a run at Ford's Maverick with their own small, unibody pickup truck. Dubbed the Ram 1200, this small truck would potentially have an electrified hybrid powertrain, four doors, and all-wheel drive system to go head-to-head with the Maverick. This isn't the first time that we've heard this rumor, and now, with the popularity of Ford's entry-level pickup, there is some pressure for competitors like Ram to step up and give the consumer what they want. Increasing fuel costs and inflationary pricing is helping buyers in North America to accept the smaller and more affordable vehicles at much higher rates than they did just two years ago. Whether we see the Ram 1200 in North America remains to be seen, but it makes more sense than ever with today's economic environment. Now for some musings with the trainer. Yesterday, I was speaking with one of my daughters, who lives in the United States, about her next new vehicle. She shared with me the value that dealerships were placing on her trade-in, which were crazy high. And then she told me about looking for a new Ford Maverick. She said she went into a Ford store in the area where she lives because it showed online that they had two in stock. I kind of knew what was coming next because she said they had two in stock. She asked me what a market price adjustment was. I laughed and said it was just pure profit for the dealership. Then she said, Why on earth would I pay $10,000 over MSRP for a white XLT Maverick that didn't even have all the features I would want? My response? You wouldn't. Anyone that pays blue sky cash grab markup on a vehicle is just throwing away their money. She said that the Nissan dealership nearby wasn't marking up their vehicles like the Ford store was but they weren't offering nearly as much for her trade-in. I explained that they were getting full MSRP for the new vehicle and then under-allowing the trade to make extra from the used vehicle. Her question to me was, why? People like her just won't buy until things settle down and get back to normal. I shared with her that circumstances were ideal for her to wait because she doesn't need a new vehicle, hers only has 36,000 miles on it, but that other people might not have a choice and the dealership wants to maximize each vehicle they get the chance to sell. My daughter is lucky. She can wait. Dealerships that are marking up vehicles above MSRP are actually playing a dangerous game. They are hoping that enough customers won't remember their actions when inventories are tight and will still come back and give them a chance in the future. My experience is that customers have long memories and most will choose to never darken their doorstep again. To all you dealerships out there that are not playing the game, good on you. I always appreciate stores that understand their customers and know that loyalty pays real dividends in the long run, 
In fact, it pays much more than the little bit that they will pick up playing those kinds of games. This is Mike Little reminding you that, hey, selling is fun. Go have a great day.